Gen Z is aging like milk. This shit says respectfully you Gen Z is aging like milk. Like you're pushing 45. Okay, there's a trend going around where Gen Z is freaking out because they realize they look really old. Starting with this clip from Jordan the Stallion. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. Kind of a fact. Me. I'm Gen Z. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. That's kind of right. nuts. When I tell people, oh, I'm going to go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids. <laughs> I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. I was just about to say, he's Tom younger Holland than me. is older than me. That's, you know what I'm saying right now? There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph. And when he walked up to me, I said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right? He then took it and put... Dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, times were way more difficult back when we were kids. Am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. And, uh, Dwayne is 52. <laughs> I am 26. You, what, what I'm saying is, so oh, Gen Z definitely day. looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so that guy's name is Jordan. He Yo! is 26 years old. No, and he's actually insane. The rock scene that too. If you didn't know, the age range Gen Z is from 12 to 27, so he does actually qualify there. I think in, in his case, I think it's just a look he's gone for. Like, if you shave, you'll probably drop another 10 years. I'm pretty yeah, much I'm the not same. Gonna lie. Like, the glasses, with the beard, I look 55, the beard, but then yeah. if you shave it off, I look about 12. So it's not too bad i mean he still looks good and everything i think he's he's one of those guys who ages gracefully meaning at like 45 he'll probably look the exact same as he does now the way i screamed no when he said i'm gen z i screamed you said zendaya is older than me just, i would have never get to 26 okay. my condolences gen z 26 what stress are y'all going through now the real problem comes when we start looking into these other posts <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this dude said, respectfully, you look like you're pushing 45. Stop getting filler or Botox, whatever you have. It looks so this bad. This girl asked her- I'm not gonna lie, she looks old as fuck, bro. Audience, what she looks age like she's she definitely looked? 40s, 50s. 30s and 40s, she's 22. Respectfully, you- She's 22, bro. She's 22. I'm not gonna lie, she does look old 50s. I mean, uh, older 40s. Look like you're Late pushing 40s. 45. Stop getting filler. Or Botox, whatever you have, it looks so bad. It does though. 45? It does though. I get like, okay, maybe like late 20s, 30s. No, not late 20s, girl. I'm sorry. That the he's on the money with this one. That 45 is this 20. You look like an old mom, bro. Or oh my god. Two. Yeah. Shocker. When I first started TikTok and started making filler videos oh my god she does look older bro like come get filler with me or botox i used to get these hate comments all the time there's just people on tiktok that absolutely hate cosmetic procedures it it's not even that it's the fact that usually older women have botox and lip fillers because they're trying to keep their age so when you're 22 with that shit, people automatically wait a minute older people have botox and believe that you shouldn't get them and again i think it's a personal preference like if i want to get filler go ahead bro. i feel like no one should stop you from getting filler Do because you it's want. your own face but people always told me that i look older and i get it i look older i might act older um no a 45 45 on the money, and I'm before not gonna I lie. used to cry over these comments and used to delete them and block the account but now i'm just like I just laugh at it because I know it's not true. <laughs> nah, he's on the money a little um, bit. But I do respect your opinion. Okay, I just gotta say, as a completely neutral party over here, not trying to, not trying to say anything. But yeah, she does actually look forty-five. I'm saying, bro, I just—it's not. I'm not trying to disrespect her in any way, but she does look like she's in her late forties, bro, early fifties.
I'd venture maybe even 55. And that's not an insult. I can't talk. I look like a freaking Goomba that got stomped on by Mario. I'm just being honest, like these TikTok comments, and this is probably a result of all these fillers or procedures that she's having done at such a young age. Yeah, I feel like nobody, literally nobody should be getting Botox or fillers or any kind of work done on- See? She looks like this, bro! She looks like this! on your face at the young age. She looks just like that! Bro. Tox or fillers or any kind of- This lady is definitely in her 50s. Work done on your face at the young age. Look, bro. Oh my God. Of 22. I feel like at least grow into yourself a little bit, right? At oh least, my God. You know, She's not even done growing, bro. Working on yourself through, you know, the natural means of diet and exercise. And maybe, maybe you look up some of these goddamn looks mixing tutorials. Start mewing 60 hours a day. I don't know. Okay. Anything's better than flipping, injecting shit into your faith, okay? These mega companies kind of guilt trip you into thinking you should be applying all these products every single day. If you don't apply them, you're gonna die or something. You're gonna look ugly, but then kind of the opposite happens. The people who end up staying very natural just naturally have good looks because, you know, that's the way our ancestors kind of did it. Here's some of the comments. Why the hell are you all getting fillers at 22? She does look 45. No one should stop her from getting fillers. Yes, I hope she's happy. Okay, this thing about, okay, yeah, you should be allowed to do what you want, but if this is the result, is that really <laughs> what you want to do? I mean, sure, go ahead if if you wanna if you wanna look 45 at age 22, go ahead and do all this shit. Nobody's stopping you. But come on, we should be allowed to speak out against this. Believe it or not, even stuff like makeup is probably bad for you because there's a ton of chemicals that you should not be putting in your face. But it's just so normalized and that everybody's doing it, and you feel like, hey, if this person's doing it, if I don't use it, I'm just gonna look uglier than them. So that's why you kind of get in this rat race over here. But yeah, I I just you know, I'd stay away personally, okay, but I'm not, I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a guy, so what, what do I know, right? Oh my gosh, saying she looks 45 is an insult to women who are 45 and look way better than this. Yikes. She thinks looking 45, 22 is bad, wait till she hits 45, she will look 100. That's She's insane. lucky no one said mid 50. Yeah, Twitter is even more ruthless than TikTok. Here's a quote tweet, what does 22 year old and so many others fail to realize that when they go for these trends, laminated brows, lash extensions, fake tan, Botox, filler, bleach, blood, nervous, Etc. Is that they look like the old women that are trying to look young. That's what I said. That's what I said, bro. I just said that a few minutes ago. Is that the older women, they get Botox, they get all this stuff. So when you see a younger person with that stuff on, the Botox and all of that, you think, wait a minute, the older people. I said this. This dude, this, this quoted tweet is exactly what I said. Exactly, you get this sort of artificial look. Not saying that I've tried it. Okay, obviously I haven't tried it. I don't have personal experience, but I don't think you need personal experience. You get now, I'm not going to say it's all bad. I don't know if y'all know who Cammie Crawford is, but her lip fillers look fine. I see the results of this sh on social media. And, you know, applying products on your face is one thing. But then, you know, some people take it too far with the plastic surgery. You know, we saw example one, example two. Take it too far what? with the plastic surgery. You know, we saw example... Ooh, I mean, oh my, she chiseled her face out, bro. She didn't need to do that, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. She did not need that. Oh my God, she made her nose go up too. Oh, nah, bro. For one, she example need to do that. two. <gasps> Megan Fox did it. Surgery, you know, we saw. I always knew one, she looked a little example. different. I always knew she looked a little different. I thought I was tripping, but wow, that that is so bad, bro. That is so bad. Example two, example three. You really want to turn out like these people? No, stay away. Okay, don't get influenced by South Korean doll look or like whatever these people are brainwashing you through social media. Watch Pegasus and stay sane. Okay, this super blonde hair ages a lot of women too. Work with your coloring. Yeah, I'm sure mm -hmm. the hair is the problem. I'm sure she needs to do even more work on herself. That is that is great advice right there. Come on, just stay away from the artificial shit.
eat eat normal normal single ingredient healthy foods exercise and maybe maybe you can somehow wash this away i don't know if exercise you can't be. wash that away bro <laughs> honestly because the damage seems to be done but you know and here we got yet another one of these videos where people are just complaining about getting called old i was humbled so quick tonight i was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like how old's your girlfriend and john jokingly responds 47 and the girl comments oh i thought she was early 30s I am 23. That's probably the most offended <laughs> voice I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have it as bad as the other person, obviously. She just kind of looks like a mom. Definitely, yeah. She looks like <laughs> Victoria Justice now. She looks like Victoria Justice now. That's I'd crazy. Say, yeah, more 30s than 20s, but I feel like that's kind of the aesthetic she went for. Like, just uh, the, the clothes, the dressing, the style. It just gives off more mom vibes, you know? This lady she is does. my age, by the way, which, which is weird. In my head, I'm still 15. I'm still a kid. Okay, I don't, I don't know. The fact that these people are my age, that's crazy, bro. Well, <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm going through a crisis right now. Uh. It's gotta be the microplastics, dog. It's, it's definitely, don't touch the receipt at your cashier. It's estrogenic. It Actually, they were just brutal. 23, I was thinking 33. I thought 35. I was thinking mid to late 30s. I'm thinking 35. Jesus, you don't need to be so honest. Ay, ay, ay. There's a fine line when it comes to baby Botox. Injections, fillers, and vapes are among the sneaky culprits making Gen Z look older than millennials. If you vape, I was about to say things that uh, cannot be said on YouTube, but you, you get my message. If you vape. All right. <laughs> if you vape. <laughs> Hey man, I don't vape. Okay. Experts warn as cosmetic procedures soar among the younger generation. It is not uncommon to see 18 year olds with lip filler. Heaven. That is so wild to me though. It's like, bro, you're 18. You're 18. I ever told y'all I met this girl who was 16 years old and she had a BBL. I was like, bro, you didn't get your body's not even done growing. That's insanely stupid. Forbid my daughter gets 18 year old lip fill. Ay, 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 ay. Lord have mercy upon my soul. I will not be participating in society when I grow up. Ay, ay, ay. He added the 20 year olds are getting Botox and fillers, semi permanent makeup in the form of eyebrows and lips. These procedures combined can make you appear older, Perry said. And actually, once you start going down this route, it's very hard to go back to being entirely natural, especially when the affirmations start on social media. That's right, get all. Yeah. Yeah. self-esteem from losers on social media like tiktokers <laughs> redditors twitters tiktokers and i said that twice okay i have brain damage number one guys stop obsessing over your appearance it just never ends well number two stop putting trash in your body in the form of chemicals processed foods mcdonald's six billion McDonald's. ingredients frozen food products they're all poisoning you they're all killing you number three social media is going to roast you regardless of how you look so don't take it too seriously that's a don't fact, take it bro too hard. It, that's you could be the best looking person in the world is somebody on social media is still gonna roast you bro <laughs> Although there might be a little bit of truth to it, okay? Number four, never get plastic surgery unless your face is literally burnt off and it hurts for people to look at you, okay? Most people, just 99.9% of people do not need it, okay? It'll just make you feel worse. Love yourself, be happy, be healthy, and subscribe for maximum intellectuals. I'll see you guys in the next video. Click this video or I- Great message. That's wild though, because people really are doing, do look that crazy. Somebody in the comments said, filters don't make you look younger. They make you look like an old person trying to look younger. Again, back to what I was saying. That's that's exactly what I was saying, bro. Here's what it is, coach.